and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video again. Today, I'm be going over the 8 a.m. Blitz offers. I'm a little late, guys. Sorry, I was out late for Black Friday. I overslept. I'm gonna be going over some stuff from last night that I missed and some stuff this morning. But after this, my back on schedule. I felt bad missing Black Friday, but people I already had promised to go with, you know. So I'm a little behind on things, but I'm gonna go over the LTDs, the two cars that just came out at the 8 a.m. Blah offer, the pack, and the house rule. Try to get everything done in this video. So I should be all caught up by the time I'm all said and done. So guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on but you guys are freaking crazy. We got our highest view day on YouTube yesterday. In our, the whole history of our channel was our highest view day ever. So you guys have been going crazy. Thank you for all the support. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, comment down below so far what you think of the Blitz promo on a scale of one to 10. Give me a rating and why. I like to see, I like to hear you guys think about this. And smash the like button. Can we get 500 likes in this video? You guys have consistently hit like four to 500 likes in every video I posted yesterday. Let's see if we can keep the trend going. Everyone watch this, smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe. We're already at like 13.2K, so let's see if we can get to 14K pretty quickly. We were crazy fast this weekend, or this week. But guys, get into this video. So first things first, let's go over to the store offers. So we obviously have the bundle still here, but that's a given. I'm gonna buy my daily pack. Well, it's an hourly pack. I don't know what the hour interval is though. It's a pretty good deal, 500 coins for 100 blitz bolts. Sell that real quick. Slowly working my blitz bolts up. Get some free coins right there. Definitely could use that with how broke I am. All right, so now we're ready to go. So as of now, there is the Superstar Blitz bundle in the store, which I don't think this one's really worth it. It's about 50 bucks for a Superstar player. It's kind of a waste in my opinion. Would not recommend you guys actually do this one at all. I think I'd rather just use the money for the Blitz bundle. Nah, not worth it. Now for the Blitz Bolts players, we got John Ross, 87 overall. He's a 95 speed. And we have 90 overall, Bryce Callahan. So these together yeah, give you 17 and 6 master tickets. So that's 23 master tickets. So if you had opened most of the stuff available to you, you probably would be, you're pretty sure you could have Lamar Jackson by now. I know that some people just got him. They texted me about it. So, so far, John Ross is great as a as a budget guy who should come down in price eventually. He's 95 speed, gonna be like a budget Tyree kill. And then Bryce Callahan, highly athletic, pretty great too. Obviously, I'm gonna go over to the auction block in a second, show you guys their stats and go over everything they have for you guys. And they also have legend fantasy packs. You can buy up to two of these. Each one gives you seven uh, seven master tickets, and it costs 1,500 each, which technically is not horrible, not a bad one if you're trying to just fill in your master tickets or. If you're just trying to get some legend fantasy packs for blitz bolts. So I was heading over. I want to show you guys the, the card stats. And I want to show you guys the Dante Jackson, which is the new LTD for the day. And I want to show you guys the house rules. So let's heading over to let's with the blitz actually, that'd be a better thing. And maybe Lamar Jackson too, so we can even show you him. Let's go over. So those are obviously the uniforms. So we got John Ross right here, 34k, super cheap, honestly. 95 so oh, 94 speed, my bad. 94 speed, 95 jumping. That's all that really matters. We're getting like it's like McCole Hardman, although McCole Hardman might be slightly better. So that's the only issue with John Ross. I don't know how great he'll be considering that. 89 overall kicker turn. Really good juke, decent spin. Okay, so this card isn't horrible because he does have juke and spin, which a lot of cards like this don't have. His B press 76. He's not really much of a streaker. Gonna be a burner, but in his own little way. Not gonna be a direct burner if he's covered. Car's not too bad, not gonna lie. It's pretty good, although McCall Harbin is eerily similar. Now let's go over to the Bryce Callahan. Let's compare him, let's see what, if he stacks up against any other cornerbacks we have. Really cheap, actually. Let's go over to like Dion. So he has 91 speed, 90 excel, 85 agility, 94 jumping, 90 play rec, 86 man coverage, 84 zone coverage, and 74 press. So coverage not too great. Athleticism pretty good, but not really, doesn't really stack up. And he's five foot nine, he's crazy small. That's gonna hurt him. Now looking on down for the LTD Dante Jackson, potentially Lamar Jackson. Here we go, Dante Jackson LTD, 429k. Honestly, not as expensive as I thought he'd be. 94 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility. Crazy off the charts, but it says 90 jumping, 88 play rec, 91 man, 85 zone, 85 press. So can he get powered up? 
he cannot. So that is going to hurt him. But he does have crazy athleticism. If he could have been powered up and chemmed up and everything, he probably could have gotten above 90 player rank, above 90 zone, above 90 man. Then this card would have been godlike. And this card is looking really, really solid. That speed, acceleration, and agility combo is going to make him one of the best cornerbacks from an athleticism standpoint in the game. Let's see, his catching is a 70. Let's go on down. Let's go on down to those stats. Ball carry vision, not too great. Spin and juke suck. Okay, so he's not really. He's, it's funny because he's super athletic, but he's not athletic with the ball in his hand. So he's not going to be a guy that can take it back like 100 yards. No. Straight line, he can. He's just not going to make moves or, or run around like in circles or get around people. You want to be a straight line runner. If he, if he catches a slant on like the opposite one, you're probably going to run it back in a straight line, considering his 94 speed. But that's about the extent of his ability. Now, Lamar Jackson's also up real quick. So, 1.8 million. The car looks crazy. I just want to see his juke and spin. This car looks amazing. Definitely going to be a beast. I definitely need that card. Yeah. Juke and spin's pretty good. Thought it'd be a little bit better. Now, let's head over to the house where I'll show you guys all that. And see what we're working with that because I know I did miss that yesterday. Head to head season. And come on. And we got blitz draft. Switch it up with house rules. You're in blitz bolts with every win. So per game is 25 blitz bolts and 200 coins. Per game lost 100 coins. So you only get 25 blitz bolts per game. So here's the thing. Is this worth it? Let me break out the calculator real quick and show you guys what it looks like. So let's say you get 100 wins, right? If you get 100 wins. Let's see what it'll look like. I'm pretty sure you don't get much at all. 100 wins looks like. Am I, am I doing this math right? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I don't want it'll be you get 100 for every four wins. It looks like at most you'll get somewhere between like. If you get like above 50 to 100, would you get somewhere between like 2,000 and 3,000? Which is not much at all. It's 2,500. It's not great at all kind of upsetting actually like 2500 isn't much that's like so if you played 100 house or games you'll be able to afford one legend pants pack and that is about it you get nothing more nothing less. you get something you have a little left over but 100 games for a legend fantasy pack and then even with that you would practically need to play a little over a thousand games to get lamar jackson so if you if you, if you could sit here and play a thousand games that's fine but this is looking pretty ridiculous they should have given us like 100 blitz bolts per win, maybe 75. Because if, if they did 75, then maybe it's like 300 games for Lamar Jackson. And it's like, okay, wait, maybe like, you know, 300 games is crazy. But I could maybe play like 140, 150, and then buy the rest and get Lamar for half the price. But they didn't do anything like that. See, I don't think they understand that 25 blitz bolts is, like, blitz bolts is cool. But if you only play 100 games, which is going to be more than most people can even play, you get 2,500. What were they thinking? This could have been really good. This had so much potential. Or maybe even 50, right? At least maybe 50, you can get like 5,000. But all you can get is like one pack. That's all you can buy. You can barely even get a player. I mean, I guess they're, they're, I guess they're, they're math here. If you, save, if you save, you do 100 games here, and you save up some from the solos, you can get like one free player. But even then, that's not really worth it. Let's see what the objective was. Offense has one drive to score. Defense needs to stop them. Okay, so pretty much, I don't even think you get to, you get both chances. I think it's like you, either one you start an offense, and or then the defense stops and it's game over. If the offense scores, it's game over. So honestly, being defense in this position, probably the better option because more than likely you might be able to get at least one stop. It all depends, obviously. I don't know where you guys start, where in the field you are, what are the uh, like can you get a field goal or is it just they have to get a touchdown? If it's straight up, you have to get a touchdown. I'd rather be on the defensive side of the ball. Or with this game, probably okay. It's probably a very quick house rules to do. But if only it was like 50, if it was 50, it'd be a lot more, it'd be a lot more doable, quite honestly. I think it really, it really sucks the way they did this. But guys, just letting you guys know, this was the 8 a.m. the 8 a.m. offer. I'm a little bit late because I overslept after Black Friday. I only got like two hours of sleep last night. So I got this done. I'll be back around, probably get another video either between 10 or I'll come back at noon for the next video. And then I probably have like five or six videos today considering how many blitz offers there are in the NFL 100. So there's lots to go over today. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for all that. We obviously have some more things coming out at 12 so it's gonna be a really weird schedule for the next two or three days until the whole blitz thing is settled so we gotta get this done as good as we can at least right it's gonna be a lot of things to go over i have some other side videos to make for you guys that relate to the blitz but aren't about the offers themselves so i gotta make time for those today somehow but guys that is about it for the video thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that on the bell boys seriously 
We are at 13.2k. We're growing crazy fast. Can we get to 14k by the end of this week? Smash that sub button if you're new to the channel. Make sure to hit that, hit that like button. If you're an OG, loyal supporter, always smash the like button. Can we get above 400 likes on this 8 a.m.? You guys have been smashing the like button. So if you're watching, if you made it this far, make sure you're smashing that like button. And comment down below, like I said, it's on a scale of 1 to 10. How do you think the Blitz promo is? What do you rate it? And give me a reason why. I'm out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next video. Peace.